After our incredible time in Jacksonville, Illinois, we traveled to the Bluegrass State to stay at the Wildflower Ranch Inn in Springfield, Kentucky. On our first night, we found one of the area's favorite restaurants. Actually, the oldest one in Bardstown. It's called Talbot Tavern, and we were stoked. We were told that we'd get to hear all about this incredible history behind the restaurant and hotel. Unfortunately, we didn't. So here's what we found on Google. It was built in 1779 and is called the oldest Western stagecoach stop in America. Back then, the cooking was done in two fireplaces and upstairs, the men slept in one room and women in the other. It's located at what's called the crossroads of the Young West, where the post roads, north, east, south, and west met. This meant just about every stagecoach made a stop at the old tavern to enjoy food, shelter, and a place to change the horses for the rest of the trip. In 1998, there was a fire that destroyed much of the upstairs through smoke and water damage, but they reopened the following year and the tavern still stands as one of the oldest buildings in Bardstown. You can learn more about supposed ghosts and famed visitors of the tavern on their website. We didn't just come to Talbot Tavern for a nice cozy dinner. We came as bloggers to cover the food and the atmosphere. Our reservations were made in advance and a menu had been prepared for our comped meal. We ask most restaurants to do this so that we can showcase their specialty. We arrived at our scheduled time to a pretty big crowd, which is usually a great sign. We told the hostess who we were and why we were there, and she told us there was no table for us and we'd have to sit in the bar. Okay, that's fine. As long as it was a place that would work for filming, we were down. We sat in the bar, which was well lit, but filled with the hollers and unrelenting laughter of a room full of drunk people. It's a bar, so what else is there to expect, right? Since we were there to document the food and the atmosphere, we didn't think this would be what they would want us to showcase. So we asked if we could be moved to the main dining room. So reluctantly, they moved us. This time, they really wanted to give us that 1779 experience because they stuck us in a room with no lighting. But enough about that. What about the food? We were set to start with the burgoo, but instead we went straight into the entrees of the classic Kentucky hot brown and the bourbon walnut chicken. If you've never had a hot brown, it's smoked turkey and sugar-cured ham on toast, smothered with a Mornay cheese sauce, melted cheddar cheese, and topped with bacon and tomatoes. It didn't knock our socks off. But, to be fair, our first experience with the hot brown was at Freight House in Paducah, Kentucky, and Chef Sarah is always taking things to the next level. Had we not eaten her delicious hot damn hot brown first, then I'm sure the Talbot Tavern's take on the classic would have been just fine for us. The bourbon walnut chicken is a walnut encrusted chicken breast topped with Talbot's signature bourbon sauce. Ours was served with green beans and rice. Now this was actually pretty good. The chicken was crispy. It just leaned a little too far to the sweet side for our taste buds. After we finished our entree, they brought out our appetizer. It was the very classic Kentucky burgoo. It's a hearty stew with pork, beef, and chicken along with some corn, carrots, onions, and celery. It may not look very pretty, but it had a yummy spicy flavor, similar to an Irish stew. For dessert, we were set to have the Talbot Tavern Pie. Unfortunately, they were all out, so it must have been delicious. Our experience as travel bloggers at Talbot Tavern was definitely below what we had expected. They offered to invite us back, but since our schedules on the road are always so jam-packed, that didn't work out. However, even though our experience was a little short of subpar, that doesn't mean yours will be the same. Yours could be better, it could be worse. But if you're looking for a tourist attraction in Bardstown, the oldest restaurant may be something you're interested in checking out. Their website is linked below so you can look up the history, other menu options, and more. Thank you for hosting us, Talbot Tavern. We're sorry that we caught you on an off day. And if you want to see more videos like this, just subscribe. It doesn't cost you nothing to hit that button, y'all.